crypto is going to crash again and you need to understand exactly what is about to happen because things today got a little bit crazy. <laughs> we got news from the SEC that the ETF was approved and then moments later we got news that actually that was all nonsense and their account was compromised. Now I'm going to give you my opinion on what's happening here and we can still profit from what's happening. And guys if you appreciate my videos all I ask in return is if you just smash that like button because a ton of you guys are watching my videos but almost no one is hitting the like button. So all I ask in return nothing else but a cheeky little like and let's jump into it. So I found this hilarious. There is a tweet from the SEC saying careful what you read on the internet. The best source of information about the SEC is the SEC. <laughs> and of course, their account being compromised just this morning, posting this. Today, the SEC grants approval for Bitcoin ETFs for a listing on all registered national security exchanges. The approved Bitcoin ETF will be subject to ongoing surveillance and compliance measures to ensure continued investor protection. Now, it's of my opinion that they actually had this tweet or this is the plan, right? They're going to approve it. And someone got access and posted the tweet too early. That's what I kind of think. And that is just my opinion. But I don't believe that the SEC actually was hacked because surely their password isn't password. It's not that easy to hack an account. But I think that maybe someone on the inside posted it or it's just simple, sheer manipulation. Now, if we're going down the manipulation route, we're going down, you know, actually a criminal act happening. This could be what happened, right? There could be, uh, there could be a plan to fluctuate the market, to make people more money, to get, for example, BlackRock in at a lower price. All of those things are possible. There's no guarantees that that's the case. There's no proof. We don't have proof of that. But Elon Musk has been asked to show proof whether or not the SEC's account was actually hacked. And hopefully he comes out and shows us whether or not it was hacked because that would be an absolutely incredible story if it wasn't hacked. Like imagine that. But the reason why I say crypto is about to crash is if we look at the liquidations of what just happened, look at these moves, right? And then look at the liquidation heat map behind it. So much leverage was flushed out of the market from this move, right? And you can't write it. You couldn't write that the SEC was about to get hacked on pretty much the day they said the deadline was and all of this stuff. It's absolutely wild that this is going on. And look at that. There's almost no... <laughs> there's, it's almost been... The, the, the leverage has been almost completely wiped out here. Now, if we do jump over to the Bitcoin chart, where is it? We can see this move here, right? Look at that absolutely insane move. We also had a very similar liquidation on a smaller scale just before, right? Just bef a couple of hours before. Huge liquidations to the downside and then pushed right back up to exactly where we were before within a couple of hours, right? So fast forward a couple of hours, again, boom, and then up. This is going to keep happening, guys. I've been talking about this and... People, some people seem to think that I'm just making it up, that Bitcoin is going to be up only, but it's not. There's going to be these liquidation events and whether or not it's really the government behind it or it's just uh, shady exchanges or it's just whales with huge amounts of Bitcoin dumping the market or paying publications to put out FUD or not FUD, like uh, good news, right? To move the market up and then reverse it, head down. People can generate so much funds, so in insane amounts of money doing this. So it's gonna keep happening. It's the most obvious thing to keep happening. Before we get the approval, they need to flush out as many people as possible, get as much Bitcoin as possible, and or simply benefit from the liquidations, right? Selling up here, rebuying down here, for example, there's loads of ways you can benefit. So I would plan that this is going to keep happening and you need to have your, uh, your safety measures in place. Now, as you know, I trade on non-KYC exchanges like Deepcoin. You can sign up using the link down there in my description. You can get up to $100,000 worth of bonuses, right? So you can literally just deposit $100 and you can trade $10,000 of volume, which is relatively simple if you know what you're doing, and then you'll get the $100 bonus. And this can apply all the way up to $60,000 and more depending on how much you're willing to deposit. So there's a link down there to Deepcoin. No KYC for this exchange. So you don't need to provide any personal details no matter where you are in the world. With that said, in order to trade and keep yourself safe, if we have mass liquidations like this happening, mass liquidation events, liquidation wicks, whatever you want to call them, you need to be in positions that will not liquidate you, okay? Do not become a statistic of 
the Bitcoin liquidation data. Okay, we can see it here. The last 24 hours, we've had just a ton of liquidations, right? Don't be one of these statistics. How you do that is two ways. You can, of course, put in stop losses at a point, like for example, down here that you think it won't go to. If it hits that stop loss, it doesn't matter because it's a short term trade, I assume, with leverage, right? So it doesn't matter if you get stopped out. And on top of that, do not trade, for example, if you have an account with $1,000 and you trade more than like, let's say 50% of your margin or higher. I know people trade with way more than that. And then the price moves like 1% and you get liquidated. You just become a statistic. Don't do that. Trade with small amounts of your account at a time. Have your, uh, your safety measures in place. So if the price goes down, you get stopped out or you can maintain the price action going down and you can add to your positions. That's how you do it. Don't get over leveraged, don't get greedy, and don't tra treat trading like it's just simply gambling because you may as well just do red or black. You might as well just go on the roulette table and do red or black. You might as well short or long, and that's all you might as well do because you're gonna get absolutely wrecked in this market if you keep doing that. On top of that, there is no need to actually be trading with leverage if you have a long-term position just by spot. Simply buy Bitcoin, for example, dollar cost average into it. If the price goes down, dollar cost average out of it when the price goes up. It's way simpler than most people want to believe that it is. Now, talking about this, right, we've got Miles here coming out and saying that the industry is a clown show. And yes, it's completely wild that people can get away from this. And also on top of that, we have chairman of the House uh, Services Oversight and Investigations Subcommittee calls out Gary Ginsler for today's SEC disaster. So he said, does this mean we can blame more of the SEC's horrible rulemaking and so-called regulation by enforcement on the compromised account? Sincerely, chairman of the House of Financial Services Oversight and Investigations investigations subcommittee. So even the government are angry at Gary Ginsler and the SEC. By delaying and taking so much time, they're actually opening up themselves to these sorts of attacks. If this was really an attack, they're just, they're just creating a, a fostering an atmosphere where these things can happen and everyone's so, success, uh, uh, so affected by it, right? And that's their fault. They're not protecting anyone from anything at the end of the day. And we can see here, this is, again, what we shouldn't be doing, right? The SEC made a man go 100% 100x long on Bitcoin. Now, I don't think the SEC made anyone do anything because there's no reason why you should be playing like this. Now, I would probably assume that this is a joke, but people would really do this, right? He said, I listened to the Securities and Exchange Commission and longed Bitcoin using 100x leverage. Now I'm liquidated again. I'm done with crypto for good. I'm never depositing just another $10,000 ever again. This is a scam. Now, it's not a scam. Crypto... And the essence of crypto and Bitcoin have nothing to do with longing something 100x. They have nothing to do with exchanges collapsing. They have nothing to do with the SEC or BlackRock. Nothing at all. Buying Bitcoin on spot, holding it in your cold storage, these events would never even affect you. So if we do have another liquidation event and you're simply buying and holding Bitcoin, it makes zero difference to you if you have a long-term mindset. If you think that the price of Bitcoin is going to go up in the future, buy it on spot, hold it, and wait for the inevitable price action. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen in five years. It doesn't matter if you have a long-term mindset and you're not emotional with your bags. With that said, hopefully this explained my reasoning behind this, what I'm doing in the market. If I provide you some value, please smash that like button. And guys, if you do want to have the most up-to-date information in the market, like I've said before, we have launched HG Access. You get access to all of these influencers in one single place. You get access to whether or not projects are putting money in for money marketing. Uh, we get that information because we also have an agency behind us. So we have a lot of information that we're sharing with you each and every day. And some of the winners have been absolutely incredible over the last couple of days even. So if you want to come and sign up, there is a link also to HD Access down there in my description. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.